So lastly, we're going to talk about transition metals and noble gases. So let's see where will that go. Now here we talked about transition metals in the first video. We said that transition metals are in this block. So these are transition metals. And an interesting thing about transition metals is that they form colored compounds. Now also one thing about transition metals is that they are often used as catalysts. And catalyst as we mentioned before is a substance that speeds up the reaction but does not get involved. One of the very, very famous catalysts you guys are going to encounter in this course is vanadium oxide. And vanadium is number 23 in the periodic table. Now, let's talk about more properties of transition metals. Well, transition metals have high densities. And density is related through this formula density is equal to mass over volume now finally the last thing we're gonna mention here is that transition metals have a high melting point so they have a high melting point now that's that for transition metals let's move on to discussing noble gases well noble gases are group 8 elements and these are called noble gases right here and this is the last group in the periodic table so finally there is the group 8 well noble gases have some characteristics well let's discuss some of these well they are all odorless odorless and they are all colorless so no smell no color also they often form monoatomic gases so you find neon only argon only krypton only monoatomic this is because they have low reactivity and let's talk more about the reactivity of noble gases. Well, let's see. Noble gases are often unreactive because they have the perfect configuration. And as we mentioned before in the electronic configuration video that all the elements in the periodic table try to attain the nearest noble gas configuration because they are very stable and they don't react often and why is that well let's go back to the electronic configuration of neon now neon has two in the first energy level and then eight in the second energy level now, well, we said in previous videos that the last electrons are the outermost electrons. So these are the outermost electrons. But they filled the whole shell, meaning they, they can't gain more electrons or lose more electrons. For example, let's take sodium and sodium is 11 we said that sodium has an electronic configuration of 2 8 and 1 and we said that this one electron is the outermost electron and therefore sodium tries to lose this electron to become like neon now neon is a noble gas it doesn't want to lose any electrons or gain any electrons because like you can say that noble gases are role models in the periodic table. Every element wants to be like noble gases. But noble gases don't copy anyone. They're just them. So 
Due to this low reactivity of noble gases, noble gases are often used in so many applications. So let's talk about these applications. Well, applications of noble gases. Well, let's talk about some of these. Well, argon for starters is used in lighting. Like light bulbs you find around your house, everywhere there is argon gas inside them. Also helium. And helium is used to fill balloons, see? And also it's used in improving breathing in asthma patients. So you see how useful helium can be now let's move on to xenon well xenon is used as so it's used as anesthetic because of its high solubility because of its high solubility in lipids now let's move on finally to krypton and krypton is used in high performance light bulbs so it's also used in lightning so it's used in high performance light bulbs so this is some of the applications of noble gases and how they can be used in our everyday life so let's recap well in this video we talked about transition metals and we said transition metals have certain characteristics and we listed them right here and then we moved on to discussing noble gases and we said that they are odorless colorless and they're often monoatomic gases and they have very low reactivity and we explained why noble gases have very low reactivity and due to this low reactivity noble gases are often used in many applications many domestic applications such as lightning like argon and krypton and filling balloons like helium so they're very friendly for humans to use so that's that for this video and this is the end of the series discussing the periodic table we're gonna solve in the next video some of the past paper examples so stay tuned and good luck